Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the main event of Mexico. This weekend, UFC Mexico, Brandon Moreno versus Brandon Royval. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Brandon Moreno, 21 wins, 7 losses, 2 draws, 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. Minus 250 favorite, losing to Alexandre Pantoja. Both of them coming losses to Pantoja. 30 years old, 5'7 with a 70 inch reach. Brandon Royval, 15 and 7, 3 and 2 in his last five fights. Losing to, obviously, Pantoja, plus 205 underdog, 31 wins, 5'9 with a 70 and a half inch reach. Half inch reach advantage for Royval, 2 inches in height also for Royval. The issue for Raw Dog in this matchup is the fact that. Because he is aggressive and he is wild, which is makes him very exciting. Moreno is so composed and still can be wild. Royval will always, at the end of the fight, be on the wrong side of a win. He won't beat Moreno. He won't beat these upper guys. It just will not happen. Um, I, I think Moreno gets a finish. I really, really do submission or TKO. Even if he doesn't like hurt him badly on the feet, I still think he could get a TKO win. Um, he has 16 finishes out of his 21 wins. In the UFC, he's had six finishes out of his nine uh, wins. Pretty damn good. 9-4-1. I mean, Jesus, 9-4-2 in the UFC as a whole. And a champion as well. Two-time champion. Brandon Royval, 15 and 7, like I said. He has 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 finishes out of his 15 wins. Has been uh, finished twice in his career. Once uh, by Pantoja and another one by Moreno, which he did hurt his wrist in that one. That's why he was finished. Four finishes in the UFC out of his five wins, five and three in the UFC. Fought some good competition. It's just nowhere on the level of Brandon Moreno. Ha, you know, hasn't fought um, uh, Figueredo, you know, hasn't fought these other guys, honestly. Uh, again, I do think because Moreno has been hit more, in his, uh, has been hit, been more hittable later in his career. I do think at some point that will be a problem, but I don't think Royval is the guy that's going to expose it. I don't think he really has crazy power like that, to be honest. Strikes landed per minute, 3.8 to 3.8. Damn near even, obviously. Striking accuracy is 43 to 43. Absorbed, 3.4 to 305. Defense is 56 to 45. Takedowns, 1.7 to about a half. 45 takedown accuracy to 66. 64 takedown defense to 40. So it's basically like, he's better, but I'm better at defending. So, okay, cool. Uh, half, a t half a submission attempt to one and a half submission attempts for... Uh, a 15-minute fight for Royval. So, again, damn near even. Really, really fun fight. Do I think it goes five rounds? It definitely could, for sure. Especially because Brandon Royval is really, really going to want it. But, again, I think because he is such a dog, because he is so creative, it tends to put him in bad positions. Like, he, he got absolutely demolished on the ground. Had moments on the feet against Pantoja. Um, didn't like hurt him or wobble him, nothing like that, but did have moments. But couldn't keep himself composed enough. And I think at some point with Moreno, it will be the exact same thing. I think three three to two or four to one for Brandon Moreno by decision. Fun fight, probably will be fight of the night. Maybe a little bit of blood, chaos. It's gonna be fun. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know who you guys are picking. Peace.